All right, we're gonna go over Sabretooth's kit, and I'm not really thrilled about this. I don't really understand what's going on. Right now, he's only available in premium orbs for about six, seven days. And there's no packs. There's no other ways of getting him. I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be other ways, but I don't really understand it. He looks very similar, his kit, to Wolverine, and we are gonna go over his kit, but before we do that, I just want to open up all the premium orbs I have because uh, I don't know how many of these I would have to open. Hundreds to get him unlocked? I, I mean, I think it's going to be insanely unlikely that I'm going to be able to unlock him uh, with the 16 premium orbs, which is just under $100. So I'm um, playing on BlueStacks. There's a link down in the description. It does help support this channel if you want to play on your PC or Mac. Uh, check it out. All right, let's open up these packs because there's a ton of characters I need anyways. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh boy, I need that quite a bit. Good pull so far. All right. Maybe we'll get some of this, uh, oh boy, that's dead. Attic is all going towards Ultimus. I might open up those right now too, just because I'm opening up packs. Daredevil? Those are pretty easy to get. And get those in the arena store, so that doesn't help me much. All right. Hmm, Scientist Supreme. I'll take it. Not very helpful, though. Mordo, very good. Also, available in the arena store. That's not that great of a pull. Alright. Alright, Mercenary Sniper, I can upgrade. Fine. Won't complain about that. Not gonna be playing him too much. Stitcher. Yondu. Alright. Where are we at? Also available in the arena store. Oh boy. Oh, come on, give me, other than that Doctor Strange, this, par, this pack opening has been pretty uneventful. Maybe I need to get back to California and have Emily help me out. Cause I'm out in Chicago right now, hanging out with my buddy Arnold. Uh, this is, uh, really terrible so far. Uh, I'll take it. That'll help me, uh, with, uh, getting, uh, Nick Fury a little bit higher in six stars. Boy, look at all these minions. I wonder if they're gonna rework Hydra or AIM. Okay! Man, am I ever gonna get Black Widow? Boy, there's a, a poll right now what they're gonna give away either Ronin <laughs> or Black Widow, I think on Facebook. That made me crack up. I, I really hope you guys are gonna pull a Black Widow rather than Ronin. Uh, unless you guys are just all trolly and want it to be Roman. Oh, these are... <laughs> Aim. Aim and Hydra. Okay. What do you think? No no Wolverine whatsoever. Uh, not, not so good. Let's uh, just finish off what we have. Yuck. The Quake thing. I mean, Quake is great. But that does not help me at all. Not one bit at all. I mean, I've had Quake, probably my first seven star character in the game. All right, basic open real quick. Jessica Jones. And then... Mega Orb. All right, what do we get? Oof. Oof. That's pretty exciting. 100 Doctor Strange. Oof. That's great. That's amazing. All right. Uh, Bullseye, fine. Mercenary. More Black Widow. I'll take the two Black Widows. But boy, 100 Doctor Strange! It's just, just starting to sink in, man. <laughs> oh, boy. That was something else. Ultimus, uh, let's see, we've got four of these. Uh, hopefully I don't get tons of duplicates on these. Ant-Man, available in Blitz. Hmm, Arena Store, it's pretty easy to get. Hmm, woof, woof. 
That guy you can't find anywhere. He's not that great. He's good, but he's okay. But still, very rare. Hey, I'm happy. I'll take it. You never know. They might do a hand rework. And then, boy, Dare, Day of Daredevil. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this kit. And we're just going to skip over to uh, msf.gg. And I did go over the Marvel.com, Brotherhood of Un Mutants, and talked about Mystique and Magneto. But there is a ton of characters they could bring to the game. Got a lot of choices. Looks like a lot of the talk here on this page is about Toad. And I haven't heard anything, but right now, pretty much all we know about inside of the game, from what I can see in these files right here, Sabretooth, Magneto, and Mystique. And he looks like a, kind of like a slightly better, a little bit different variation of Wolverine. Claw Rake. Attack primary target for 340% damage. Really simple right there. I like this a lot. This looks like a anti-captain america ability attack primary target for huge amounts of damage boy the target is taunt this ability deals an, an additional 80 percent piercing damage Ooh. <laughs> goodbye captain america oh boy goodbye crossbows goodbye thanos my goodness attack all adjacent targets for huge amounts of damage, this attack cannot be blocked, and looks like he can do that right from the start. Boy, you could just blow up Drax. All right. I mean, it's okay, but it just seems very anti Captain America, which I like. Blood Rush! Attack primary target for 380 huge damage. Bleed, I like that. And then Chain. Now, this is the part I really like because it applies bleed to everybody, but this looks really good. Counterattack breaks the chain. That's normal. But if Magneto's an ally, this attack cannot be counterattacked, which means he's just going to chain through the whole team unless he hits something like stealth. Oof. And then his healing ability, you know, 15% of the max health. When this character drops below 50% health, game death proof. I, I do think that's better than a 10% revive, but that death proof is going to get stolen uh, yeah, or copied or dispelled i don't see that sticking around and then they mention the brotherhood ally uh which right now is just mystique and same thing with mystique it looks like uh, if magneto's an ally now i wonder if they're gonna go down the direction uh that they did with uh, the defenders where individually all the characters are okay but together they all work um, they did that with Guardians, to a lesser extent, Avengers have always been that way, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D. minions, for that matter, are really strong, which just kind of uh, blows my mind. So, I'm not really sure how they're going to bring out Magneto and all of that, but for me, I don't really like this, this premium orb thing. Uh, seems just kind of strange to me that that's the way they would do it. Uh, you know, I really did like the way they did it with Loki. Well, I liked it because I was able to get 180. I wasn't recording, but I actually was doing it when I was in bed and I screamed! And, uh, oh, my girlfriend was quite startled, believe me. And, uh, it just seems strange that, you know, only premium orbs. Uh, I'm sure they've got a plan. Uh, because it would be an uh, ungodly amount of premium orbs to get him. I mean, the, the chances of getting that 50 unlock and just unlocking him, uh, you know, with two star. Oh, uh, I hope they have packs. I hope they have some sort of event or something. But right now, I, this is quite a new way. And I just have to say the game, uh, you know, as far as soft launch has almost been out a year. And they have come up with so many different ways of launching characters. I know I really do kind of appreciate uh, that they're trying different things, but I, I kind of would prefer uh, right now at this point, after being in the game for this long, a little bit more predictability of uh, kind of knowing what's going on uh, as far as how they're going to launch characters. This just seems highly unusual. Maybe they made a blog post about it and I... I completely missed what they're trying to do with this. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments section about uh, what you think about Sabretooth. 
Kind of uneventful. This uh, slight variation on Wolverine's kit in a lot of ways. Uh, maybe a little bit better, but... Uh... Alright guys, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.